All right, Brewer Spring Training Day 24, and there would be a doubleheader with the Royals and the Mariners, and Michael Garcia would start it off with an error. Bobby Wood Jr. would hit a two-run home run out the center, making a 2 nothing Royals. Set at the belly, and fires. Breaking ball crushed, deep left center field. Perkins and Chorio converge. They both look up. It's gone! On to the burn behind the left center field fence. Bobby Wood Jr. After the home run, the Royals would go 1-2-3. The Brewers would start off their day by going 1-2-3. MJ Melendez would hit a single, then it would be 1-2-3 for the Royals. A single and a walk would lead up to an Eric Haas RBI double, making it 2-1 Royals. Blake Perkins would hit a 2-RBI single, making it 3-2 Brewers. The Royals would go 1-2-3, except for a Vinny Pasquantino single. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3, except for a Christian Yelich walk. J.B. Bukowskis would come in and give up a double to Adam Frazier. There would be a single and two walks. And then Garrett Mitchell would unload on a grand slam to center. Mitchell, deep right center, way back. And salami time for Garrett Mitchell. His first of the spring against the lefty, no less, on a hanging curveball. Reese Hoskins and Christian Yelich would get back-to-back outs to end out the inning. Trevor McGill will come in and give up a walk. Jackson Cherry will hit a single, then Jonah DePoto will come in for Cole Reagans. Jared Koenig will come in and give up a single to Selvi. Hunter Renfro will hit a two-run home run, making it 7-4 Brewers. Gregory Barrios is their shortstop now. There's a fly ball hit the other way. Deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. Can he get there? No, it's gone. Over the 400 sign in right center field. It's an opposite field. Two-run homer for Hunter Renfro. The Royals would have a practical 1-2-3 except for Adam Frazier walk. Bryce Turing would single, Blake Perkins would line out, and then Garrett Mitchell would ground into a double play. Yoel Piams would come in and give up a single. Anoli Paredes would come in to strike out Selvi. Steven Cruz would come in and walk Juan Baez. Brock Wilkin would hit a two-run tank, making it 9-4 Brewers. Runner goes. Fly ball to center. That is very well struck. Way back and gone. Brock Wilkin with a bomb off the batter's eye. That fastball down. Gregory Barrios and Jackson Cherry will get back to back outs. The Royals would score one on a former Brewer Cam Devaney RBI ground out. Kyle Isbell would strike out. Will Klein would come in and give up a walk and a single. Xavier Warren would get a two run double, making it 11 to 5 Brewers. The Royals would go 1 2 3 to end out the game. The Brewers win 11 to 5. The Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Garrett Mitchell with his grand slam. Let's head into Game Two against the Mariners. Game Two would start off with a 1 2 3 by the Brewers. J. Rod would walked and Jorge Blanco would hit a single. The Brewers would go 1 2 3. Luis Urias would get walked. A Taylor Trammell two run home run would make it 2 to nothing, Mariners. J. P. Crawford and J. Rod would hit back to back singles. Do the Brewers even know how to hit a ball into the air for a base hit, or no? I could say the same thing to the Mariners, but not as often. Jake Bowers would hit an RBI double, making it 2-1 Mariners. A Joey Weimer RBI single would tie the game up at 2. Ty France would get walked, and then the Mariners would go 1-2-3. Chavez Young and Andre Monastero would get walked. j Rod would strike out. Jorge Polanco would get a go-ahead home run, making it 3-2 Mariners. Noah Blackwood would come in and get two outs. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Tyago Vieira would throw 1-2-3. Ryan Stanek would strike out Joey Ortiz. Vinny Capra would hit a solo home run, making it tied at three. Brewer Hicklin and Chavez Young would get back-to-back outs. Ebner Uribe would give up a double, then he'd get two quick outs, plus the third out. William Contreras would get hit, and Owen Miller would hit a single. Hopi Milner would come in and throw a practical 1-2-3. A Brewer Hicklin flyout would have the go ahead run, making it 4 to 3. Chavez Young would get walked and he'd be caught stealing. Rob Zastrisny will come in and give up the game tying home run, making it 4 to 4 to end out the game. The Brewers tie 4 to 4. The Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Vinny Capra, and the record is now 13 14 and 2.